Hello everyone, I'm your instructor Benjamin and I especially welcome you to another exciting video tutorial lessons with Black Ben. So in today's video tutorial, I will be walking you guys through a step-by-step -step process with no step skipped on how to set up a trifold brochure in Photoshop. So without wasting much of the time, why don't you come along with me into the world of Photoshop and let's start making beautiful design works. Alright, so first of all, what we need to be doing is to work, create a document. So go to file, click on you, and let's wait for this guy to load in here for me. So now it's up to you to decide on which size you want to create the trifold brochure on. Alright, so in here, we would maybe prefer to use A4. So I'll be using A4 and maybe change my measuring scale to, you know, inches. I don't need to name, name this, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I would want you to take notice of the measuring, the ascent, the measurement, the sizes here, dimensions over here, right? Good. So you realize, well, basically we, we will be working with the, uh, the longer dimension. And you know, trifold brochure would want to be in a landscape mode. So with the orientation, let's turn the orientation to landscape and uh, let's keep notice of what the width, which is 11.693, 11.693. Well, we can actually come back and get it, so don't worry. And uh, you need to also work with your calculator as well. Okay, so now, we, now that we are done in here, let's click on create and we have this looking good. Uh, the, next thing we are going to do is to come to our view tab over here and click on new guide okay click on new guide and we are um, as in we are given this pop-up and we have the orientation which has to do with horizontal or vertical okay and the position is in inches we can actually change the position to suit our liking good so in here if you remember the uh, page the width okay was 11.69 something i actually don't remember so let's go to image sorry let me take this off just let's go to image and let's go to uh canvas size and this is so 11.693 so please have that in mind don't don't forget 11.693 so let's cancel and let's go back to view and let's choose new guide and we need a vertical line okay a straight line through so uh, I'm going to be putting what 11.693 over here. So 11.693 over here. Okay, and I'm I'm going to divide this figure by three because I want a trifold. Okay, so I'm going to divide this by three, and uh, to do that, I'm just going to put. Let me put my inches in here and say divide by three. So I just brought the division sign over here, and I can just click on okay and you see that i have my guide here okay so it has uh, nicely divided my page for me so i have my first page of the trifold brochure that i want to design and secondly what i would want to also make you aware of is that with your calculator okay now in here i can just type in 11.693 divided by three and the answer is 3.897 right good so we can just quickly copy this and go to our view and click on new guide and you know we need this in vertical line so and i'm just going to paste this inches and when i click ok it's still the same thing over here right good and now now that we have our first page done we need to you know move on to our second page and i'm sure the moment we create us we work on our second page we will automatically have our third page good so let's go back to view and let's click on new guide and in here you could remember that the number that we got over here we had what 3.89 what 
7. So I'm going to, you know, multiply this by 2, by 2, and we have 7.795. So I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to paste this guy over here. And let's click on OK, and automatically we have the second and third page designed for us. So basically we are done, but there's another thing we need to, you know, take notice of. When, when it gets to we printing it, we need to, you know, set some bleed size on the trifold brochure so that when, when they are printing, it kind of serves as a safe zone. You are, you are like save, uh, kind of a safe zone where we don't try to push in our text or our image outside the safe zone. So in case they are printing, it doesn't cut that portion off. Okay, so we need a bleed over here and the, to get the bleed just go back to view and we need a bleed size of 0 0.25 inches so let's go to new guide and let's say 0 0.25 inches okay and i need that i will actually need a uh, bleed for all sides okay so first of all let's work with the vertical size so and we have uh, this bleed over here right good and the next thing is to no, work on the other side of this bleed, which has to do with this side. Okay, this side. Now, this is what you do with the entire, sorry, with the entire uh, dimension of the width in mind, which is 11.693 in mind. I'm just going to, you know, subtract the 0 0.25 from it. And the remaining answer should be my, um, what do you call it? The bleed, okay, for the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, go to view and click on new. And I'm just going to paste this over here, inches. I'm going to say, okay. And automatically, I have my bleed for the other side as well. So to do that for the top and bottom, you just I, I need to know the you know the dimension for the height as well. So let me go to canvas size, and the dimension is what eight point two six seven. So let's go to um, sorry view. Let's click on new guide, and you know I I need a what the horizontal portion. So uh, we need. 0.25 and we have that for the top if we are to subtract 0 0.25 from the 8 uh, 8.267 minus 0 0.25 then the remaining answer should help us with the bottom bleed and there you have it so basically we are done with setting up our trifold uh, we not we are not designing we are just trying to set our trifold for you know our design work so all these are the safe sides that the top all these are the safe zone so we we don't sorry in here are the safe zone so is it r or s hello Okay, so we have in here, this is a safe zone where we need to design. We don't need to, you know, go outside the safe zone. Let me, you know, bring some color that will brighten. So this is a safe zone. And anything outside the yellow is what will be cut off in case of printing. Okay, so let's bear that in mind. And one thing is, you realize that anytime I wanted to create a, a, a new guide, I need, I will come to new and, you know, click on new guide and I'll work on it. It's kind of delay. Okay. So we need to set a shortcut for our new guide. So we just click on the shortcut to, you know, take us there straight ahead. So just, if you, to do that, just come to edit and let's scroll this to keyboard shortcut, you know. And in here, we are looking for what the menu tab view click on it and let's scroll down to the button where we have the you know new guide 
here there you have it click on it and we are given the option what to you know set the uh, shortcut for it so to set this uh, i don't know i don't have any shortcut but if you are to use an already existing shortcut command photoshop will prompt you that this is what you are trying to do and are you willing to continue if you continue it will write the old or the previous shortcut and give it to the new set you know shortcut so in here, I'm just going to say, let's say, um, control alt s. Okay, so this is actually not, uh, you know, a shortcut. This is not an existing shortcut. So I'm going to use a cont alt control alt s for the new guide. So I'm just going to hit on accept and let's click on OK. And so anytime I hit on control alt s, the new guide option, you know, comes out for me. So that is it guys. This brings us to the end of today's video tutorial. If you find it interesting, please do all to, you know, hit on the subscribe button and make sure to like the video and also share it. Please make sure to check out my other videos as well and I'll be glad you did. Until then, there's still Black Brain Solutions and see you in the next video. I'm out.